tonight at 5.30. In less than two weeks from now, Nan Whaley will be sworn in as the next mayor of Dayton, Ohio. Natalie Tendall caught up with her today for a one-on-one -on -one interview about what her plans are for our city and a story you are seeing only right here on 2. Natalie? Well, Mayor-elect Whaley told me today she's excited to get started moving Dayton forward and has some big goals for her first 100 days in office. Nan Whaley's campaign for mayor centered around the phrase, a roadmap for a new Dayton. Today, I caught up with her to see what type of stops she has planned for the city. What are the top three things that you hope to get accomplished in the first 100 days? Well, you know, what we're going to do right away after being sworn in is we're going to do a retreat with the city commission to make sure that we're all on the same page moving forward. And tr truly, the development opportunities we have in the city, as well as Setting the path for, path for job creation is going to be key. Whaley says job growth, education, and improving Dayton's economy are at the top of her list as mayor. And how are you going to accomplish some of those goals? Well, I think it's going to be have to be about working with the team. You know, we have a great commission. Uh, I'm really excited to work with these guys. Whaley says Dayton has had a rough transition with the recession. She wants to put the city back on the map as a place for business to grow. How are you going to bring jobs here? Well, I think a lot of it is, you know, growing from within. Uh, you know, we plan on having, you know, monthly discussions with business leaders to understand really what does it mean to be business friendly. So it's not the city telling businesses, but the business is telling the city. Dayton crime, specifically gun violence, is also a topic Whaley has plans to address. She says she's already had conversations with police and commissioners. You know, one crime is one crime too many in our community. So, you know, with, uh, with the leadership of the commission and with the leadership of Chief Beal and our police officers, knowing that public safety requires the public to, to really participate is something that we, we will not stop talking about and stop working on. Now, Whaley is also starting the Dayton Mayor's Fund of the Dayton Foundation. She, she says it's designed to promote culture and art into Dayton neighborhoods. There's a kickoff fundraiser for that on January 5th at the Schuster Center. Natalie Tendall, 2 News, working for you.